Nobody tell me nothing. It's Thor's day. It's payday. It's the most beautiful day of the week. You can see the like hammer and pizza. And it's just a beautiful day for a live stream. And I have to mute my channel. What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming to the replay. If you're watching this in a replay, um, I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching in a replay, that means there's probably not any pizza left. So, sorry. Get your own, brother. Five bucks or six dollars, really, if you get the extra most bestest, which is what I get. The extra most best, best cyst. Uh, because it's bestest. It's better than the regular $5 hot and ready. So, yeah. So subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You'll see me next time when I go live um, by hitting the notification bell. So we're gonna get started with some pizza. And we tweeted out the stream to the Twitter and we did the Facebook and that's all I have. But it's Thor's day. Oh, and it's a pizza day. So it's a special Thor's Day because Joe's Smokehouse and Barbecue, thanks for coming in. Hit that like button on your way in. I appreciate it. You're the first one in the house. This is Thor's Day. Um, let me see if my night bot is working. It's payday. So I got pizza today. That's kind of a tradition for me. Get paid every other week on Thursday. So... Oh yeah, Nightbot is working. It's a bonus day. We got everything going on uh, so far tonight. So I gotta move my little uh, sticker here. Your friendly otaku, thank you for dropping in. You hit that like for me. You didn't even wait for the hammer. Thank you. It's Thor's day. We got pizza because it was payday. So you guys got here in time. There's still some left. Grab a slice. Joe, Otaku, grab a piece. There's going to be plenty. I won't eat all this by myself. I will not eat all this pizza by myself. So who's ready for the weekend? I am going to struggle tomorrow because... <clears throat> because of the week starting on Monday for my work week with a holiday and I was off yesterday it just throws me all out of control I'm, my life is chaos when that happens I am very routine driven for the most part and uh, when when you throw like wacky things like a holiday on a Monday and I still have to work and then I was off yesterday because we did a live stream at the National Museum of Play, the Video Game Hall of Fame, and the Toy Hall of Fame. If you haven't seen that, it's only an hour long live stream. I'm going to do a highlight video. And that will probably uh, air on Monday. Tippy Richards in the house. Hey Tippy, good to see you again. My favorite YouTube sister. That's officially your title by the way if you haven't noticed you are my official YouTube sister you are like blood Tiffy it was payday grab a slice before it's gone payday pizza I think those are my favorite Thor's day is when I can get the pizza so Tiffy, my schedule next week is going to be all screwy because uh, it's the end of the school year. My daughter's got a concert on Tuesday night, so my 
my whole Monday, Tuesday night thing is going to be all goofy. So I'll probably do a video premiere on Monday. And I'll do nothing on Tuesday like I normally would. So maybe I'll make it up on Wednesday. Or maybe I'll just coast through till next Thursday. This pizza is ridiculously greasy today. It's greasier than normal. I think they have the oven on like super speed because I actually bought this pizza. Doctor Who! Doctor Who! Doctor Who! Doctor Who! Doctor Who! The TARDIS, Doctor Who. I don't know if I'm singing that right, right, but every time I see your name, Doctor Who, I'm actually a fan of Doctor Who. I've actually met a couple of them at conventions. Um, I'm kind of a fan of the old school Doctor Who, like Tom Baker and uh, some of those guys. Um, but I enjoy some of the more current stuff. I was just kind of warming up to Peter Capaldi. And I'm talking to you about Doctor Who as though I just assume that you're a Doctor Who fan, because that's your name. Uh, when really, it could be like you're a doctor and your last name is Who. You could actually just be a doctor. Um, I love Funko Pops as well. I have a few. Let's see. I'm just going to grab one. The first one I could reach. I have mostly the Batman 66 Funkos. Um, got some of the, I think this is, these are Dorbs, right? I think that's called the Dorbs. The Trashed Picture Show. How are you? Thank you. What's the first comic I ever read? Uh, that is a great question. I'll give you two answers for it. Um, the first comics that I remember reading were uh, old comic books that my grandparents bought, uh, specifically my uh, grandmother. All of us kids in the family would go visit the grandparents like once or twice a year during the summer when we were little and stick eight kids in. And uh, the highlight would be my grandmother would buy comic books um, from uh, garage sales and stuff. So my first round of comic books were old, torn issues of like Archie comics, um, like Casper the Friendly Ghost, Archie, there was some Hanna-Barbera superstar comic books in there, stuff like that. Um, but then like after that, when I started collecting again, when I was in like sixth grade, it was mostly Marvel comics and I tended to gravitate toward the group comic books. So like I was always getting the crossovers. So like when Secret Wars, the original Secret Wars came out, that was cool. Or when there was the Avengers and then they turned into the West Coast Avengers. I always bought the group comic books because I could only buy like one or two at a time. So I wanted to get the comics that had the most characters in, a, in them for me to read about or to learn about. So I always went for the group comics. Um, but then, years later, um, I ended up with close to, I don't know, uh, seven, 77 plus boxes of comic books. There's actually a video. If you guys look at my playlist, there's a video in the playlist called Me and My Children, or Me and My Kids, something like that. But look for the six minute video that is the collection I used to have that I sold for next to nothing. And you will see my collection of all my thousands of action figures and my, I don't know, seven, it was like 14,000 comic books and all my pictures and stuff. Um, the Punisher was good. You're wearing a Black Panther shirt. I'm wearing my Thanos shirt. Actually, this might even be a Funko. I'm not even sure. I think I got this out of a loot crate. I don't remember. 
Everybody that just came in, there's still enough pizza. Go ahead and grab a slice. Grab a slice. And uh, some of you are new, so I haven't even hit you with the like yet. So hit the like, hit the like. Um, fair warning, I have noticed already poor connection and that I already uh, have the little lag streaming buffer wheel. And uh, I'm not a, f uh, a fan of that buffer. So hopefully we're going to do okay. The weather, we're expecting a storm. So I'm hoping I'm going to... Hoping we're gonna survive the stream. Uh, what did I make of the end game? Um, I liked the Infinity War movie better than Endgame. Uh, Vigilante, welcome to the stream. Hit the like, hit the like. We gotta have more than six likes in here. Um, yeah, so uh, end, end game was good. Infinity War was much better, I, in my opinion. Like I, I liked Infinity War better. Um, I could have done without a lot of the little single uh, character moments in um, Endgame. So that's all. Um, but it was a very good movie. Obviously, uh, worth every penny that it made, every billion of billion of billions of dollars that it made. Um, yeah. Um, no. So the pizza's cold because I bought it after work. So it's been sitting for about two and a half hours. But I waited until this stream so that I could eat. Whoop, Adam, turn toward the camera. Oh, is today the survivor mode? Oh, stream's over. I gotta go play DC Universe Online. Just kidding. Um, Tiffy, it's funny that you say that. I, I did actually forget, but I did write a note to myself. Look at right there. Play DC Universe Online. Get to 1.3K. Like, I, I have obsessive compulsive disorder. I have uh, depression, anxiety, suicidal ideations for all of you that don't know. So we talk about that in the channel. But one of the coping mechanisms that I do to, to keep myself focused and not get into depression is I make like daily to-do lists. So this is my tomorrow to-do list. Play DC Universe Online. <laughs> Stick it in the oven for 25 minutes. Stick who in the oven? Stick him in the oven. Who do you mean? Adam West? You want me to fry Adam West? Or are you talking about my pizza? The pizza would make more sense. I live in a studio apartment. So if I use the oven, it gets like super hot. And I just turned the air conditioner off before the live stream so you guys didn't have that in the background. Check out Welcome Back Frank. You have all the Punisher from the first appearance in Spider-Man. Uh-huh. Yeah, I have that. I had that issue. You guys really should check out that um, <clears throat> that video of my toy collection. Like it was legit crazy. It was a thirteen hundred square foot toy room I had. My man came was my man cave was literally a thousand more square feet than the apartment I live in now. It was the entire uh, basement of a thirty six hundred square foot house. I had the entire basement. It was all hooked up. Rick and Morty season four debuts in November. Doctor Who. Uh, Rick and Morty. I still haven't watched a whole episode yet. I know I'll like it. And people tell me I really like Rick and Morty because I have kind of a, a different sense of humor. And I like that kind of stuff. And I like pickles. No, I don't like pickles. But they say I would like the show. I'm so sorry. That doesn't make you hate me, does it? Don't hate me. I don't know what's with the bunny ears. I was feeling silly, Tiffy. Um, I had to put a shirt on for the stream. So I went to the closet. And I picked up a, a shirt off the, you know, out of on the hanger off the bar. And I must have hit where these... Um, ears were on a shelf and they fell 
So I picked them up and I was like, ah, I'm going to put them on. Uh, it's not a filter. It's not one of those cute Snapchat filters. This is my real, this is all me. There's no beauty effect filters here, everyone. This is the real me. This is what I look like. I got to keep my head right here because otherwise you see that reflection of that light and I hate that. So I got to sit right there. Uh, going to grab a bite, sir. Back soon. Keep up the awesome work. I hope that you are talking to me. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Um, if you didn't hit the like, hit the like. Hit the notification bell because this stream, uh, with the luck I've been having with streams, could end at any second. Tuesday's live stream ended an hour early because I couldn't uh, keep a signal. Pickle Rick! Uh, it does look good on me. Thank you. Thank you for... Tiffy, don't... Are you flirting with me because I called you sister? That would be weird. Awkward. We don't... Yeah, that's... I'm from up... I'm in the upstate New York thing. We don't do that up here. That might be a southern thing. But you're my sister, so... We don't need uh, the churches to come knocking on our door and give us, you know, a thing. Lost Phoenix Wolf. Woo, woo. Hit the like. Hit the like on your way in. We're at eight likes. We're only 16 minutes in. That's two likes a minute. I can do math. Have some pizza. I'm not doing a good job of eating any of this pizza. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why I think I'm going to do a mukbang. Because I never eat. Because I talk too much. And I don't like that awkward moment of this. This part is what I hate. Hold on a minute. Doctor Who. I live in Rochester, New York. So we are, it sounds like, pretty close. We're neighbors. Unless you're like Niagara Falls, Canada part of Buffalo. Las Phoenix Wolf is like Buffalo, New York. Is there another Buffalo? Is there another Buffalo that I'm not aware of? I mean, home of the Buffalo style chicken wings, Buffalo, New York. Buffalo Bills, destined, if you ever remember of the X-Files, if you're old enough like me, do you remember the whole, the show toward the season ending of the show? They were like, it was like a predestined thing, like the Buffalo Bills would never win a Super Bowl. So Las Phoenix, you must have been from Buffalo at one point. I don't know what South Towns means. You're just over the border. So Las Phoenix, that means you're just over the border. You're in Canada. Because I have family that live in Canada, actually. They live in uh, Cornwall. So it's kind of the other way. Up to St. Lawrence and... Uh, yeah. It's north of where I am. Directions are not my thing. I'm bad with directions. Uh, but we are planning a trip. Niagara Falls is an awesome place, if that's where you're speaking of. Um, it's really developed a lot over the years. I have to get the, the freaking... The, that, that, that. I hate those glares. I have to figure something out. I took pictures down. I used to have pictures up right there. I took them down. I put them on that wall now. That was That's my apartment. Like what you just saw, that's it. That's my entire apartment. 30 minutes from the stadium. You all hate, yeah, that was, but it was funny though. Wasn't it kind of funny? Like I, I was like, oh my God, that's so real. That's like real. I thought it was uh, it was a great way to work that in. Like I don't know what the writers whoop, were thinking, like how they came up with that idea to do that. I thought it was pretty genius. Um, but you know, whatever. Mm. Even for cold pizza, this is pretty good. 
So you did not like that. You did not think it was funny. So, uh, who is the actor that played, um, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Fox Mulder was played by, and he then went on to be in California Cation. What? I don't, that, that's a song too. You have family in Rochester and then uh, mostly across in Ontario now. I had a sexy lady in Cornwall. Well, isn't that interesting? A sexy lady in Cornwall. You could write that in a like a song. I once knew a sexy lady in Cornwall. I don't know. I'm not a writer. Well, I kind of am a writer. Yeah, David Duchovny. Why couldn't I think of that? But then he was in that TV show, Californication. Then there was the whole thing. Do you remember his character? Let's talk about X-Files for a minute. Because there were a lot of things that were kind of interesting about that show. I used to love that show, by the way. Until it got kind of, like, at the end, it gets a little... But do you remember Freaky Geek? Hello! Smash the like button. Smash it. Let me get you a slice of pizza. It is Thor's Day. Every other Thor's Day is Pizza Mukbang Thor's Day because it's also payday. So I, I squirrel away six bucks to buy an extra most bestest from Little Caesars because it's right down the road. I live in the city of Rochester, New York. I can walk, I live like in the city, I can walk to like 50 different restaurants and whatever. Uh, so David Duchovny's character, Mulder, yes, that's, see you knew where I was going with this. Yeah, like that was like a thing, like, like he was a porn addict or something and it was like in an episode and then it was touched on like one or two other times, like in his office in the file cabinet, he had like stashes of porn or something and I can't remember if Scully saw it or not, but never bother watching the new X-Files. Yeah, I did. I watched them, but you know, they are never the same. It's, it was like um, another show that I really enjoyed was Twin Peaks. And uh, when Twin Peaks was created, it was created to be a one season thing. It was a one and done. And then network executives get involved and they're like, no, nope, this, this is too strong. We got ratings. We got followers. We need a second season. So they had to re kind of tool. So like the second season of Twin Peaks was not really as good. And then you had the Fire Walk With Me movie. And then there was a prequel. Or Fire Walk With Me, was that the prequel? There was two. There was three movies. But I still like Twin Peaks. Uh, I'm a huge fan of all that kind of craziness. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, he was a sex addict in real life. Like, you think that was... You think that's true? Like, are people really sex addicts? Because, like, I could say I'm a sex addict. What's to, How do I prove that? Like, or do I just, like, I get caught cheating. Okay. And then I say, whoa, I'm a sex addict. So take it easy. Uh, I get a pass. I have a problem. It's an addiction. So you got to just let me do my thing. Or do you go to rehab? What What is rehab for sex addicts? What, do you go to church? Like, like seriously, like you go to therapy to, to control your hormones? Do you have to go be put on drugs? Like, like I don't know. It's a weird thing. I don't know what what I would do. What? And Doctor Who, I love how passionate you are because you went from like normal chat and now you're just all caps. You're just like, he destroyed the show! You're like, Ugh. He banged everything that moved. That's Hollywood though, isn't that? I don't know. I want to move to Hollywood. I want to bang everything that moves. I want to smash it. I would have been great in Hollywood. I would be on my fifth wife. I'd have like 12 kids. I don't know. <laughs> South Park. 
South Park is one of those shows that when it first came out, I watched it because I was caught up in the hype of the controversy, controversial, like how intense it is or was, you know. Um, but it's still funny as heck, like Family Guy too. Like I don't watch any of those shows on a regular basis anymore. But when I catch an episode or a part of an episode, I laugh my ass off, except for Rick and Morty. I don't laugh as much. Well, I haven't watched an episode. Rick and Morty, aren't they going to just finally... Is that canceled yet? Oh, I, abs I absolutely watched Endgame. I took the day off of work. I legit requested time off. Um, and I saw it two days in a row, just like I did Infinity War. Usually what I do with some of the epic uh, Marvel movies, like I did it for the first Spider-Man. I did it for Black Panther. Like, I'll actually take the day off of work and see it. And then I'll see it again the next day or two later. So I see it twice in the opening weekend. For a couple reasons. One, I want a number push. I want, I want them to do like crazy uh, blockbusters so they keep doing them. And then two, I see it opening night with the crazy crowds so that I can feel that energy of people just like cheering or crying or laughing and, and be in there. But then I have to see it the next day or the day after that and I go to the very first show of the, of the day. So usually at like 10.30 in the morning, or 9 a.m. if they're open that early. And then I see it again with a theater of less uh, less filled um, theater or the people that are there are just so tired because it's that early in the morning to be seeing that kind of a movie. So I could catch things that I might have missed. Um, yeah, I definitely saw Endgame. I liked it. I definitely liked it. I cried. Um, for those of you that don't know, I cry like it's part of my depression. I have very, uh, very easy, uh, and, uh, yeah, um, but in Infinity War, I cried. I still, every time I see certain parts, it just uh, gets me. And, and really, for the hero of the movie, Thanos, um, I mean, what a great dedicated movie to probably the Marvel Universe's single most uh, best hero, Thanos. Because if you think about it, he was the only person truly concerned with the welfare of the entire universe. The selfish heroes on Earth were just thinking of themselves, trying to save themselves. The Guardians of the Galaxy... Peter Quill just wanted a piece of tush, right? So he was only interested in Gamora. That's the only reason why he was in it. Rocket Raccoon was only in it because he wanted to try to steal somebody's body part, probably. Uh, is it Black Widow that dead? Uh, from what they're saying, Black Widow is absolutely dead. And she still will have a movie coming out, but it'll be, be uh, most likely a prequel. Her... Uh, her upbringing, like some of that, if you remember, I don't remember if it was Avengers 2, where they kind of did a flashback of her with the ballerina um, montage and kind of her coming through. Uh, from what I understand, like that would be the basis of the movie, that time frame. Um, I think it would be fun if they ended that movie with Hawkeye cameo in Budapest, like so we can finally find out what Budapest was. Um, I think that would be a fitting fan thing. Uh, yeah, Captain Marvel wasn't, um, wasn't, I don't know, it's one of those movies that really wasn't needed, and for what she ended up providing in the, uh, Endgame, really, they could have not used it. Um, I don't know, I think she did herself in, the actress Brie Larson, um, the movie itself did phenomenal, like, the movie box office wise it's a successful marvel movie um it ranks way up there in the top five so uh let's see let me try to catch up with um why why did why didn't captain go back in the time on the saver yeah because he's selfish captain america was selfish 
That's why I wear at work a Hydra pin. And for those, I work at Walmart in the toy department. I wear my Hydra pin. And sometimes people notice what it is and they'll say something. Um, or if I see a customer come in with a Captain America shirt, I go up to him and I'm like, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Hell Hydra. Um, Endgame has five endings. Yeah. Too bad they didn't follow the comics because then uh, they would not lose Iron Man. Yeah. I think we're going to see another Iron Man at some point. I think, we're, you know, there's movies we're going to see. Another Black Panther, right? Another Doctor Strange. Those are givens. Those have to happen. Um, we will see another Guardians of the Galaxy. And if they don't call it Ass Guardians of the Galaxy, they're really missing a funny joke. Um, so we will see Thor again in the Ask Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So there's three movies we already know are going to happen. Um, Ant-Man is going to get a third. There's no way they're not going to do a third Ant-Man. Is that an octopus? What, uh, can you be more specific? I, I don't know that I have any octopuses. But I do have, look at, I have Iron Man, Black Panther, that's a little uh, thing there. Where, where, do you, where do you see an octopus? Help me out, Doctor Who. Do you see this? Doctor Strange movie is coming out, yep. Yeah, that's, that's going to be... Hydra. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, it's kind of a, yeah. Yeah, and Spider-Man's coming out. Um, so, so Spider-Man will come out. That thing. Uh, I don't think we'll see a Hawkeye movie. I really don't. Honestly, I don't think uh, we should. If there was going to be a Hawkeye movie, they should call it Avengers West Coast or West Coast Avengers. Um, and uh, I get you now. I, I get you now, Doctor Who. I'm I'm a little uh, slow. Avatar Two, yeah. So that's supposedly in the works, and uh, that's supposed to be a big thing. I'm kind of a Disney fan, but um, if you want to know something. I've never seen Avatar. I'm probably one of the only people that have never seen Avatar. I've seen parts of it and just didn't do it for me. I heard there's like weird uh, alien sex with your tails. Is I don't know, like that's how they have sex is with their tails. Or maybe that's just some weird uh, web search I did. I'm not really sure. Um, oh yeah. Well, here's the thing, like, so Disney Plus is a Disney streaming service that's supposed to be coming out, I think, by November. So DC Universe has their own streaming channel. You, you know, you can get a, an app uh, on Roku and uh, you pay, I think it's $7.99 a month. And then they have their, their uh, DC movies, animated series, and original content. So like this next week or the next week after that, uh, Swamp Thing starts. The live action Swamp Thing TV series, which actually looks really good. Um, they had Teen Titans, and then they went into Doom Patrol. Both of those series were really good. So, so far, the DC Universe um, streaming service channel has had good live action um, TV series. So Disney is supposedly doing that same thing and they're calling it Disney Plus. And we're supposed to, and you guys probably already know this because you're fans, so, but there's supposed to be TV shows in the works for uh, Bucky and Winter Soldier together in this series, Loki. And it'll be alternate timeline Loki because if you remember in Endgame, he hoofs himself out of there with the Tesseract um, but that is going to end up being a alternate timeline Loki uh, because of that. And there was supposed to be a Vision and Scarlet Witch. 
And all of these shows that I've been reading um, are going to have the actual actors in them. So I would love to see another Captain America movie with uh, the Falcon um, as Captain America. I would love to see that, but I don't know if we're going to because I think that's going to be a TV series. Unless they've just been like announcing all these ideas and that series won't come out for another year after the service starts. Um... Yeah, natural army, we have real aliens walking among us and only the few know and believe. Uh, yeah, I'm not alarmed by that. The more the merrier, bring them all in. I'm a lonely guy. Where They just come knock on my door. I'll share my pizza. Get my. We'll have some little alien tail sex. Mm -hmm. I'm doing really bad with the uh, muff bomb. Another, uh, Thor went back to get a stone and stole the hammer from early Thor. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> so, that was a neat twist. And they kind of set us up for that so that we didn't all freak out. Like, well, if he takes the hammer from the past, doesn't that prevent that timeline from happening that way because Thor doesn't have his hammer because Thor, the other Thor, took it with him. So, like, they they introduced all of these splits in the timeline. So, I guess in theory we're supposed to accept that when Thor from the future took the hammer from the past, that past then went into alternate timeline so things didn't happen I don't know whenever they do timeline minutia you gotta kind of like separate yourself from that yeah black and uh, men in black international that comes out pretty soon too right in July I'm not sure I'm gonna like that I, I love Christopher Helmsworth I mean I have a whole day dedicated although this picture this is the best looking Thor you're ever going to see. Truly the best Thor. Um, but it's also got Valkyrie in it, so it's going to be weird to see the two of them together, but not as Thor and Valkyrie. Um, I don't know. I never was a real big Men in Black uh, fan anyways. Um... And then Cap, it throwing it around, he jacked a super soldier, and it's odd for him to use it with the hammer power. He jacked it a super soldier. And it's odd for him to use it with the hammer power. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that means. Not really sure. We're up to 11 likes, guys. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Make sure, because you guys seem like you're uh, pretty cool and you're into the superhero thing, so check out that video in my playlist. Uh, that's uh, in the playlist, me and my kids, or something like that. And um, it's not very far in there. It's only six minutes, but it's my toy collection. Yeah, you have to separate the comics from the movies. That is something I'm, thankfully, I'm good at. Um, I can definitely go in with all of my history of comic books and just set it aside and enjoy the movie. And I walk away from it. I keep them separate. Um, because if you don't, yeah, you could just drive yourself like, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they do that? Why did they do that? You know? And we don't know. Uh, you retracted it before I could read it. Something about Watchmen, which has a TV series coming out.
Uh, the new Picard. Um, I saw the the trailer for that. Um, it looks interesting. Um, I'm a Shatner fan because I've met him, but Picard was right up there. I love that Next Generation series. Um, I'm a big fan of the classic Star Trek. I literally just watched yesterday Star Trek II Wrath of the Khan. Um, so it's funny. And there's actually, I'm, I'm promoting my videos like crazy. There's even a video in that me, about me and my kids section, where there's a, me as the captain of the Enterprise. Um, uh, they did a Star Trek event at Universal Studios where you went into a room in green screen and it was Leonard Nimoy. It was the full cast of the Star Trek Enterprise, the classic series. Pure and June, thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. Um, June, you never have to be sorry. I'm always so happy to see you. Um, I, I know how busy you are, June, so don't worry about it. You, you got so much going on with 100,000K subscribers to keep up with that's crazy it's Thor's day Thor Thor's day and even though June I know you won't eat any June I know you won't eat any but here you go have some pizza there's no vegetables on it there is there's pizza for everyone but I know June won't I should have a salad ready like fresh, raw vegetables and fruit. Um, so there's a video of, of me, blah, 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 blah. Um, they did a Star Trek experience where they did a, a mini, like 10 minute episode where you got to assume the different roles in full costume. And because of the green screen technology, it was actually blue screen technology. Um, they did a episode and you got to act in it by reading the cue cards where they pointed you. And then when it was all edited together, it was a cool little thing. Yeah, I'm not paying CBS All Access. I can guarantee that. Um, I did watch that Enterprise series, uh, ep a few episodes here and there. Um... Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm not paying CBS All Access. Uh, yeah, my squirrel, Trevor, will definitely be eating the crust of this pizza on Saturday morning, if any of you are awake. I do live streams on Saturday and Sunday mornings at 7 a.m., sometimes even at 6.30 a.m. Uh, I put the camera out my window onto my fire escape. I put cookies and pizza crust and popcorn and potato chips, whatever I have, bread, uh, he likes bread. And a squirrel comes running to the window while we do a live stream and you don't ever see me, we just do chat in the chat box, but the camera's completely out the window and you watch a squirrel come and eat and there's relaxation music in the background. It's a very unique live stream, uh, but it's definitely worth checking out. It's fun to just chat. Your feet are freezing, but it's warm out. Yeah, it's too warm for me already. I'm, I'm going to suffer this this uh, summer. Rick and Morty is the hottest animated cartoon series in the multiverse. I will take your word for that. Uh, there's not a whole lot of animated series that I watch right now. I've been trying to watch the Teen Titans. Well, it's the... What are they called? They're not the Teen Titans. They're the Young Justice. What are they? The Outsiders? No. Uh, what was that? Not the not the Teen Titans Go. But after Teen Titans, the kind of serious animated cartoon shifted to Teen Titans Go and got silly. They came out with like the uh, Teen Titan Outsiders. Um, who doesn't like quantum physics based cartoons? I don't, I don't know what fun, I don't know what quantum physics is. I've given it all she's got, Captain, I can't give it no more. I don't, June, you're not really old, stop that. 
You are older than me, but not by much. But that you, if I had your shape and looked like you, uh, don't don't age is nothing but a thing, right? Isn't that what they say? It's just a number. You don't look like you're whatever your age is, so you have nothing to worry about. Twenty-five miles, June. I saw you were. Uh, I watched your dancing. You were getting. You are dancing to get back into shape. I know, I know. Doctor Who, you're right, I do. And people tell me, and my kids watch it. My my kids um, and I have very similar interests when it comes to that kind of humor and things. And they both watch it. I have a 16-year-old daughter and a 20-year-old son. And they watch it. Uh, and they watch Steven Universe. And I do like Steven Universe. And uh, I know those two shows aren't nearly the same thing i'm just naming off shows um but i look great wow it's the filter i have a snapchat filter with the bunny ears june tiffy richards was in here early earlier uh i don't know where she went um but she would she's gonna be sorry she missed you um i gave her a slice of pizza and then tiffy richards just bailed out um, yeah, so that's, that's just like Tiffy though. She comes in for a few minutes and then she gets out of there. Uh, you must listen to your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi hypnotic circles. Yeah. So I'm getting this bizarre glare now from the window. I, I'm, I can never win, uh, with the, uh, the light. It was so kind of like overcast that I, I opened up my, mini blinds and now the clouds must be going away we were supposed to get a storm so i don't know yeah tiffy was here i don't know archer yeah archer's a funny show that was good yeah she got her pizza and she ran i've almost got this mic working i had to order another thing i ordered it today i should have it saturday so i should hopefully have a new mic set up soon um, and that will make things so much better, maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll make my voice sound more annoying. Do you guys also get this? Maybe June, I bet you, you do. Um, and, and Pure, I, uh, you know, we've talked, we, you've been in my streams for a long time. Um, but, uh, like, when you re-watch your videos, do you, like, hear your voice and you're like, uh, or like I know I'm gonna obsess on this right here this little red mark on my neck and like I have this um, scar right here that when I rewatch in everyday normal life I don't notice this scar but I had back surgery years ago and they went through the front and uh, so I have that scar there but I don't notice it during the day but when I rewatch my live streams I, I notice it's like the funniest things. It's weird. Final Space. I don't even know what Final Space is. I don't know. I know what Galaxy Quest was. That was a fun movie. And what's that new show uh, with Seth MacFarlane? What's that? Why can't I think of the name of that show? That show is actually pretty decent. And that got renewed. Um, I don't think that's what Final Space is, though. Teach me, Doctor Who, what is Final Space? Is it about space? The Final Frontier? The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the... What is that show? The Orville. I got it. Do you, do you ever watch The Orville? It's pretty funny. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of Seth MacFarlane. Um, I don't know. It's actually not edgy enough. It's almost like trying to be a, a legit sci-fi Star Trek show um, with kind of an undertone of humor. Yeah, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. June has, I don't even know, 100,000 plus subscribers and she has a thousand videos. So there's all sorts of videos. 
Dorkville. <laughs> Are you referring to the Orville? Yeah, I have only watched a few episodes, but people like in some chats I was in and some articles I was reading, uh, they were like really uh, excited that that show um, got renewed. And I was like, oh, that show is still on. I gave up TV because gaming, blogs, helping others, visiting dad. Two out of five cats left. Two out of five cats left. So you, is that a math question? If you had five cats and two left, you have three cats left. Uh, movie, barbecue, and trying to hold that all together with new people joining my channel and join them. 25 streams a day. Ooh, that's a lot of streams. Awesome Adam from 2099. Mm, smash that like button, bro. Welcome to Thor's Day. This is a, a pizza mukbang that I'm failing at, but I, I have pizza. So uh, Awesome Adam from the future, 2099. I have to ask you because when I saw you in the other live stream the other night, uh, might have even been last night, when I see 2099, I'm instantly drawn to the Marvel comic series that they did from 2099. They had Spider-Man 2099, Fast, uh, Fantastic Four 2099, Punisher 2099. I think they even did a Ghost Rider 2099, X-Men 2099, Doom 2099. Is that where your name is from? Awesome Adam from the future. From 2099, not three cats gone from this world of age or both, or got tooth disease. So three cats are gone. Oh, okay, so I did the math wrong. Two of five cats left. Oh, it was a trick question. Spider-Man 2099. So did you like the animated uh, Spider-Man movie then uh, because they had that fun interaction then. Uh, I was a fan of uh, 2099, of the uh, Spider-Man 2099. Coin collecting, I collect uh, quarters um, because it takes three dollars worth of quarters for me to do my laundry. Um, so I collect quarters. And every week I start a new collection. So it's an ever constant collecting of quarters. Um, you are Spider-Man. Don't tell everyone. That's like me telling everyone that I'm a superhero. Like that. I don't know if that's me. I'm not saying it is. Not saying it isn't. I'm not saying that that cape hanging on my door there is there in case I have to go somewhere and grab it quick. Farat, how are you? How are we doing tonight? Did you get to watch the rest of SmackDown? Um, I did not get to watch the whole SmackDown. My uh, my internet stream went kablooey and I got frustrated. Um, I've got some stuff. If you really want to see awesome stuff, you have to check the video in my playlist um, called Stuff I Used to Have That I Sold for Next to Nothing. Um, and it's depressing. Um, big buck, gold, and platinum. Um, yeah, so like part of my depression and anxiety, it, uh, uh, causes me even still, like I, I do it, uh, every once in a while, I get into a deep depression and my mind convinces me I don't need things anymore because I'm not going to be around and I'm pre, I'm sub, I'm subconsciously planning that somebody, when I, I'm gone is going to have to clean up all of this and I don't want to burden people with having to clean up after me because I won't be around so I throw away stuff or I sell it for really ch cheap 
excuse me, this pizza is giving me uh, the burps. I've got the burps. The NBAA Finals. I am not a fan of, I assume that means basketball. Nope. Bah. 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 I couldn't tell you one. Uh, well, that's not true. I could tell you LeBron. That's about the only basketball player that I know. And I don't even know if he is even currently an actual if he even plays right now. I don't know. Wrestling, I watch. Um, just started re-watching wrestling. Wow, thank you for your service, Doctor Who. That's incredible. That's really awesome. Uh, what branch did you uh, go into? Or were you in? Not go into, you know. Um... I, I the Air Force, and uh, we got this new president. His name was Bill Clinton. And part of Bill Clinton's platform was that he was going to reduce the military. So I was scheduled to go. You can hear me. Um, uh, okay, I, I don't know. So I, I have been shown. Yep. Man, oh man. I'm back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's literally I've done for this is the third live stream I've done on a different day. And when it gets to literally right around the 57 to 61 minute mark, uh, I get booted. Like, it shuts my stream off. So, I don't know what is going on. Lost Phoenix, BRB, that's cool. Queen of Hearts, did you, did you get to stay or did I lose you? You came in, you said thumbs up, and I was in a buffer. It's so depressing. The other day, I, was have, I had about nine people in chat. The same thing happened. Buffer City, buffer, buffer, buffer. And then the stream, boom. Just like today, though, I knew it was going to happen, so I was ready to put my finger right back on the restart, and uh, nobody came back. Got to go. See you next Thursday. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. The TARDIS. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Ah, Doctor Who, Doctor Who. Oh. Uh, yeah, thank you for coming in, Doctor Who. It was really good talking to you. I'm not sure if you're still here, but I did enjoy our chat. Farat, do I know... Do you know my friend Turkish? Uh, I do not know Turkish. If that was uh, what you're asking, if I know like how to speak Turkish, I do not. I do not. Uh, so it, it looks like the stream has come back and it's, uh, running strong now. It looks like it's, maybe it's going to be okay. Maybe the stream is going to bounce back. Maybe it was just a test. Testing my, my composure. It was testing my live stream adaptability skills, uh, <laughs> so it's a great song. I'm sorry. 
Gary Glitter, you know, whatever. I have a unicorn with a rainbow over here, so uh, singing a Gary Glitter song. Yeah, that's all right. We are down to four viewers. Wah, wah. It's it's the sign of the times, my friends. When that buffer gets me, I I never seem to lately be able to rebound back with with the viewers at the same level that I had before the freaking buffer. So, June, don't sweat the likes. I'm not worried about it tonight. I We were on a good climb, but that buffer, it just affects me. It changes my entire mood. Maybe if I have a, maybe if I have a bite of pepperoni. Yeah, we, we do have a storm coming. They said for sure, um, who doesn't like him young? Or you mean too young, like, uh, yeah. Um, but yes, we are supposed to have a storm. June. Uh, I don't dance, June. At least not for free. Um, that would take uh, a super chat. And I don't have that. So I can't dance. I'm so sorry. Farat, you learned English from our publications like newspapers and magazines? Oh, Doctor Who. Oh, oh. That, okay, I did not know that. I will separate myself from my previous comments. Um, no. Okay, not interested in Gary Glitter anymore. I'm, I'm, I don't even have unicorns with rainbows anymore. Um, <clears throat> show us more action figures. I really don't have a lot of action figures anymore. Like, you have to watch that video and you can see what I used to have. I really only have Batman 66 stuff left. And, uh, that's it. Um, I was into Legos for a while, too. So I had tons of Lego creator sets and, uh, it's all gone. Like, if you check that video out, it's a quick, quick six-minute video, but it, it's going to blow your mind. Like, that collection was crazy huge. I had 2,000 open, out-of-package action figures on shelves and just, like, 14,000 comic books and, and anything having to do with superheroes... Um, uh, there was a lot of stuff. So uh, my collection right now consists of just um, that wall back there of Doctor Strange and this wall of Batman 1966. I do have a horror uh, uh, action figure collection. It's very small um, horror. I don't know if you guys know the Funko reaction figures uh, did like all the classic and, and uh, kind of modern horror action figures. Uh, Farat, that, I, don't, I don't know that that's a, a good topic for my chat. Um, I don't really want to do religion or politics in chat, if you don't mind. Um, they're, they're triggers for people, and I don't, I want this to kind of be an open welcome place for everyone uh, because I personally don't care anyone's religious background um, or their political views um, because I just accept everyone. I don't care if you're straight, gay, transgender, bi, if you're a Christian, if you're Muslim, if you're Buddhist. It's all like not important to me because I judge everybody on their character 
and just how they treat other people. So um, don't misunderstand that. If, if religion is important to you in your, your daily life, that's awesome. Um, but I don't want it to be like in my chat because it ignites like these drama filled chat rooms. I hope that makes sense. A Pac-Man figure from the 70s. Oh, that's cool. Um, so I'm doing like this, un, this non-stop promotion of previous videos. But yesterday, just yesterday, I did a live stream from the National Museum of Play, which is here in Rochester, New York. The National Museum of Play has the, the World Video Game Hall of Fame. And it also has the National Toy Museum. And it's a one hour video. Uh, if you cut through it, I'm gonna do a highlight video that's gonna release on Monday. Um, and uh, you can catch that maybe. Uh, but there's definitely some old classic Pac-Man stuff. There's old classic uh, video game stuff. Um, I have seen Bob's Burgers. I will admit to that I've watched um, oh, the last Bob's Burger episode I watched was in October. I watched the Halloween episode of Bob's Burger. Um, that was the uh, last time I watched. Um, Farat, we are all human. Although someone in chat earlier today did say, it might have even been Doctor Who, that there are aliens among us. Because we were talking about the X-Files TV show. Yes, toys and board games. If you're referring to the um, National Museum of Play that I, I have, I did a live stream from yesterday. So it's now it's a, it'll be under my past live streams. Should be the first one until this one's done. Um, but it's really cool. Like there's so many fun things. Um, and we were actually, we were given uh, media access. So we got like a off camera tour and then um, we uh, video, we live streamed. Um, there's a pinball, um, pinball game section. There's an arcade, and they're working arcades and pinball machines. Um, the voice of Brian in Star Trek is weird. Um, I don't know what. Brian and Star Trek means. Yeah, somebody said that though. Somebody said aliens walk among us. Who was it? I gotta go back. Was it Lost Phoenix? Awesome Adam, maybe. Lost Phoenix? Doctor Who? I'm 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 scrolling through chat on my touch screen computer uh, that I always forget. Doctor Who said, Star Wars number nine, thumbs down. Uh, Doctor Who, Hydra album, uh, emblem. Yeah. Well, I guess it's unimportant. I'm never going to be able to find it. Whoa. I was, when I was way, way younger, I have Monopoly with gas company and oil company. So, yeah, Brian from Family Guy, that's, isn't that Seth MacFarlane? Doesn't he do the voice of that? He's the uh, captain of the Orville. He does Brian and he does Peter, doesn't he? Lost Phoenix, that was you. Okay. So the Monopoly, there's actually um, in that video, I'm going to promote it, I guess. I'm just going to do it. Um, in that yesterday's live stream at the National Museum of Play, they actually have one of the original round dining room table size Monopoly boards that's from 1933. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but it's on the it's on the plaque where they show it. So, like, some of the first concepts of the Monopoly board was a big round dining room table size thing. It was huge. Stewie, yeah, he does Stewie too. Um, I think Seth MacFarlane does all the voices except for Meg. That's uh, Mila Mina Kunis Mila. What's her name? Mila Kunis? Wasn't she a bad mom? Or something? Mina? Mila? Is it Mina Kun? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, though? 
she's relatively attractive. She was on that 70s show. I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. So, uh, so it looks like the stream, I got through that one hour mark. So now we're like 70 minutes in and I haven't noticed any buffering. So that's a good thing. We'll, we'll probably go a little bit, um, longer since I didn't lose the stream. That is a good thing. Um, so I'm just ready for this weekend. There, I have uh, at the that freaking. I got to figure out how to filter my light somehow. I need to to do. Maybe I need one of those little beauty round LED beauty um, things. Yeah, Meg. But her name isn't it, Mila. I want to say Mila Kunis, but I don't think I'm saying it right. She's okay. She's all right. She was on that 70s show. I think I like the redhead better. But in real life, I probably would have went for Mila Kunis. I don't have any idea if I'm even saying that right. I think it's Mila. But I think the last name, I'm saying it wrong. And I can't use my phone, because it's right, I'm chatting. I could look it up, I suppose. Let me see. Let's do a little... Oh, it is Mila Kunis. So I just started typing Mila into my search browser thing, and uh, she came right up. Those are some pretty nice pictures. Yeah, she's not bad looking. Um, I think she's gotten older though now. She might be too old for me. So that, that's a Gary Glitter joke. It's just a joke. I think I'm gonna leave that search browser up for later. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, so hit a like if you like Mila Kunis. Get a small lamp. Look for a bulb that is closer to sunlight. Have it a little far away and then no glare or over lighting. Like I have this lamp, but see like, I don't know. Like I think I like it up more. Like I have really tall ceiling. So the lighting gets kind of distorted. I think if I sit right here, I mean, obviously the most important lighting needs to be right here. The bunny ears are real. This is not, this is not a Snapchat filter. It's, this is the real thing. I was, I was kind of dared, almost dared to like, let this grow out my beard. Um, I've never really had a beard like this before. Um, I've been kind of challenged to let it like actually go down. Um, I don't know. Like I have zero, I'm 48 years old and I have zero experience with grooming uh, facial hair. I've almost always shaved. I've had a goatee. Um, but yeah, get a crane lamp. Is that a lamp that stands on one leg? Or no, that's a uh, flamingo. You want a flamingo lamp? A one-legged lamp is a flamingo lamp. I'm not sure what a crane lamp. Do cranes stand on one leg? I don't know. I'm, I'm not really mm -hmm. sure. Uh, did my phone just jiggle? I got an update from TikTok. Somebody just posted a new TikTok video to watch. Whoop, whoop. Uh, I tried to get into the TikTok thing. It didn't go well. Uh, not much good heat, but love winter. Yeah, Central Air sucks balls and hate the hot summer. I 
couldn't agree more. I am not a fan of the summer, um, all even through the winter. So I live in an apartment, it's a house that is from like 1910 and then they built it into uh, seven apartments. Like it's a big house, I'm in the city and uh, of the, the seven apartments, but only one of them controls the heat for the entire house. So I'm on a second floor of three floors and they crank that heat into like the 70s. And like to me, that's so hot. So literally all through the winter, I sleep with my window open to get the cold air in to cool me down. The, I'll show you the lamp I'm using, actually. I can uh, do that. So that's the lamp. It's a... Uh, I don't know if I had anything on the floor that you guys shouldn't have seen. Maybe a pair of dirty underwear or something. I don't know. Uh, but that's the lamp. It's a decent lamp. Um, oh, and there I was on my big screen. Yep, that's ego. I watch my, I watch it because I watch it on my TV, I watch it on my computer, and I watch it on my phone so that I can see how everything is framed on each device that somebody might be uh, watching me on. Does that make sense? Um, plus, I get, I do get a unique view credit for watching my own live stream. Up, down, left, right. Put your left foot in, put your left foot out, put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hope the poke. Where's June? I was dancing. She probably missed it. I was I was I was doing a dance and June missed it. So pizza Thursday, Thursday, pizza mukbang, payday, pizza. I only ate two slices. Um but that'll be left over for Friday. I will eat the rest of that pizza Friday for sure tomorrow. TGIF. I had a short work week, but I don't know. Do you guys get thrown off? Like, I work, I'm very fortunate. I work Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. That is such a basic schedule um, that doesn't really exist in a lot of professions anymore, especially in retail. 1860s place here. I pay $500 a month in a four bedroom old student place. Yeah, paying $500 for 13 years. Old landlord has never raised the rent. Mickey XO! Hit that like button! Uh, yeah, this is not a filter. This is not a Snapchat filter. This is all me. This is all me. Thank you for coming in, Mickey. I was just, uh, having a little pizza but I'm not doing very well I've only had barely two slices in 80 minutes so it's a kind of a mukbang fail it's a mukbang fail, fail. yeah but uh, I have leftovers for tomorrow for tomorrow I'm I'm golden for food uh, Farad thank you so much um, we will see you again. Thanks for uh, coming in every once in a while and saying hello. Um, yeah, so it's Thor's day. So we've got the hammer. We got the Thor stuff. Um, this is, like I said, not a Snapchat filter. So I am naturally this golden and red. And uh, the ears are all natural. Yeah, it is cold. So uh, I'll probably eat it warmed up tomorrow but uh, I got excited because it was payday so on my way home from work I live right down the road there's a Little Caesars there's a McDonald's there's a Subway there's a Arby's there's a Starbucks there's a Dunkin Donuts like I live in walking distance of all of these places inspired champion hello thanks for coming in I look adorable you just came right in with the flirting right off there you didn't even look Who's in the room? You just, boom, flirting. Are, are you flirting? Is that, we're bros though, right? Bro fist. There's nothing awkward, right? Thank you for hitting the like. Um, so I got excited because it was payday. So before I start bouncing checks, I decided to buy a pizza. Inspired 
Grab your slice. We saved you a piece. It was super greasy today. I don't think they ran it through the cooking oven at the at the speed that they normally would because normally it gets like a little bit more crispy crust um, and today I think they were so busy they kicked it up so it just kind of went through really fast like it's quick it's cooked but it wasn't like crunchy yeah Mickey uh, has a lot of energy and uh, she posts videos daily, unboxing and things like that, and I'm so fortunate because they typically will drop, and I don't know if you do this just for me, Mickey, but your videos drop a lot of the times in the morning during my first break or later in the afternoon when I'm on my lunch break, so I get to watch them, and uh, it's really cool. So I get to see Mickey XOXO almost every day and she is hilarious she is a uh, inspiration inspirational um, maybe I should do some beauty haul unboxing videos with my non snapchat filter look uh, Yes, so inspired, uh, who's vegetarian? Did I miss something? You said vegetarian? I'm, I'm like probably, if there's a word for the opposite of vegetarian, that's what I am. Um, I eat so few vegetables and fruits, it's probably not healthy. I, I do like some fruit, like I like bananas and I like apples. I like orange juice. I like orange juice flavored drink mixes. I like vodka in orange juice. So I like fruit is what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, that's the way to do it. Like set that upload. I do the same thing. I like have, I have stuff scheduled already to, to um, it's already uploaded and it's on that scheduled thing for like the next four Fridays. That, yeah, that's yeah. I uh, I do not have a poop chart. I do not have a poop chart. I um, had gallbladder surgery years ago, and uh, it took me so long. Like when you have your gallbladder removed, that you go in, they do the consultation, they tell you how they're gonna go in these three little spots. They're gonna yank out this gallbladder sack out of this little tiny cut and they're gonna and uh, then they're gonna find the skull stones that are in there and all this other stuff but then they say from now on for the rest of your life you can never eat like fast food you can't have pizza or anything else and I was like hell no leave the thing in then and then but that obviously wasn't an option because I was in emergency and like I was having a major blockage for my gallbladder uh, from like a gallstone that was like huge. Uh, I passed out at work. <laughs> I actually like passed out in the men's room. Um, so that's not that fun. But I legit went on a mission to prove those doctors wrong that I would be able to eat at Wendy's and I would eat at McDonald's and I would get my pizza and train myself to be able to handle it and I did it. I beat the odds without a gallbladder. Um, it, it took some adjustment. I, there were definitely foods that you have to learn that you need to be within minutes away from a restroom, especially right after the surgery. Um, so, but I'm, I'm back onto a really regular uh, schedule. I have a nice once a day bowel movement and uh, it's it's uh, always a good time to uh, read Twitter or, or or Instagram or Snapchat. All that I have and Facebook. I do also have Facebook and uh, you can all join those uh, by looking at my about section and clicking the links to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook,
I don't know. I have every single social media. I just don't use all of them. Like as soon as I find out about a social media, I try it. Like TikTok I tried, Cocoscope, Twitch, um, Periscope back in the day. You guys remember Periscope? Like I don't I think that's still around. Obviously MySpace, uh, which is all like music stuff now. What else? What what else? AOL, America Online uh, Internet Service. Um, when that first came out, that had like, there was the AOL chat rooms. That was the big thing. And then it turned into like weird uh, chats for like hooking up with people and having like virtual sex. And it was like this crazy thing. That we're, like I have had AOL email for, gosh, 27 years. I don't know. Uh, you know a good to share my videos, guys, Mickey or JLA. Do I know a good? What does that mean? You know a good to share my videos. What, what do you mean? Mickey and her poop chart. There's no parasites. She doesn't have any parasites. Maybe in her in her chat room there's leeches. People that are sucking that energy. But they there's not have parasites. Yeah, inspired, are you asking like if you can share your videos with us? Is that what you're saying? Or are you asking us advice who to share your videos with? Or is it something completely different? Am I still buffering or did that finally go away? Did I get that adjusted? You have a tapeworm? Did I miss that? Or do I just choose to ignore it? Those are gummy worms. Those are gummy worms. I don't like gummy worms. I'm not a big fan of like chewy, uh, like jelly beans or gummy worms or gummy bears or uh, Swedish fish, Swedish fish. Uh, it's hard to say that. I do like um, Starburst though and Skittles. Oh. I see. Advice, yes. Other platforms to share your videos. I share it on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, well, it depends. Uh, Twitch is... If you're a gamer, uh, which I, I'm pretty sure you do the gaming stuff, right? Um, Twitch. Uh, uh, but there's a whole... It's a whole thing, like... Instagram, you share photos, um, but I seem to, to like Pinterest and Instagram are photo sharing and uh, you pick up followers quicker. Um, YouTube is probably for videos um, is the best overall platform to put your videos on. It's just a matter of your tags and the category that you list it in, but then you share it out to your Twitter. And then, so if you're sharing out to Twitter, but you've only got 100 Twitter followers or less, you have to get active on Twitter to pick up followers by also engaging other people's Twitter accounts. So like when you're when you're in somebody's chat, I'll just use me for an example or Mickey. If you're in one of our live chats and you see that we have a Twitter link, you should subscribe to our you should follow us on Twitter and then we would get like a notification and hopefully we would follow you back. 
uh, very similar to subscriber, you know, networking on YouTube. So the more followers you start picking up on Twitter and you put that, you're doing a live stream, shared out a new video onto Twitter, more people get access to it because not everybody hits the notification bell for when you go live. So if you have a big Facebook following, um, you want to make sure to put onto Facebook that you are doing, a, you have a new video. Where's the Twitter at? So my Twitter link is in uh, the description of this live stream. If you go down and you just open it up, you can see my my Teespring stores, and then my Twitter is right underneath it, and then Instagram, Facebook. I even have PayPal listed. Um, I used to have like every single social media link, um, but then on channels that you go to and you don't want to click a video to see those, on banners, usually you'll see on the corner, bottom corner, most of us have links to our social media or if you go into your about section or as they say in Canada your about section um, you will find most people's social media links also in that and if you don't have those on your channel um, yeah I have a huge I should, I, a huge. I have more Instagram followers than I do on anything else. And it's the weirdest thing um, because I hardly post anything on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to be more aware of posting pictures on Instagram just to keep me going. Yeah, Instagram is a big one, but you can't post. Can you post links and stuff on Instagram or it's just strictly pictures? So you could probably upload a picture of your thumbnail with the caption saying the link, maybe? A boot. So uh, inspired, like add, make sure your social media is on your about section on your uh, channel page and it's on your banner. And then I do similar to like when you're building subscriber counts on your YouTube channel, you go to networking streams. On Twitter, there's also similar um, networking type, you know, tweets, threads. You can join threads of people that are also looking for other similar uh, interest people to tweet for tweet follow for follow. I don't want to say, it. you know, they're doing their Twitter networking. It's the same thing. You're a native Canadian. Well, that's cool. I live near Canada. I have family in Canada. Um, my cousins and my aunt and my uncle are all Canadian. So, and I uh, love Canada. I'm a big fan of Canada. I like hockey. Um, I like cold uh, Labatt's. Is Labatt's from Canada? Molson? Is Molson from Canada? Coors Light is not from Canada. Uh, it is a cape. You never know when there's going to be an emergency. Um, so I keep that ready uh, in case I gotta go somewhere. Uh, yeah, so that is my cape. It is a multi-purpose, flying, functioning, uh, real, legit, it's a heavy cape, too. It's hot. Um, on the very first Thor's Day, I actually wore that, and it was so heavy to be sitting in my chair wearing that cape, and it, it was way too hot. So I also, if you guys don't mind looking at my pajamas... You may not know this, but I'm an international cosplayer. So this was a costume that I wore at a uh, 
convention and I got second place. So let's see, there, that, that is me as Dr. Strange. And I used that cape, even though that's a Superman cape. Um, I did use that cape. I just wore it backwards. And that is yellow duct tape down the sides of it. You have triple citizenship. So you have Canada and US and what else? What other, what other citizenship do you have? How many can you have? I wonder, I have one citizenship, but um, my family uh, had dual, the, the family that live in Canada, they had dual citizenship. I don't know if they still, if it's still considered dual citizenship. I have some secret furry friends and not kinky way. Furries are not kinky. Um, there is a horror movie called Furry Nights and uh, that's all I'll say about that. Oh, Native Indian, okay. Oh, Lost Phoenix Wolf, okay. Um, I, I get it now, it's all coming around. You might have told me that before, actually, in, in a long, a long time ago. A long time ago. Uh, so actually, guys, we're coming up on, uh, we actually went past my, uh, my time. I was going to go until 8.30. I have some stuff to get ready for, um, for the rest of my night. So I want to thank everybody for coming to Thor's Day. Sorry about the buffer issue and losing the stream earlier, but thanks for those of you that came back and hung out. Mickey XOXO, it's always so cool when you pop in. It's like YouTube celebrity status for me. I know you don't think of yourself that way, but I do. Um, so thanks for coming in. Thanks everybody for hitting the like button. Um, my schedule's gonna be a little off next week, so I should be back to regular Thor's day, but um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are going to be all out of whack because my daughter's end of the school year stuff is going on. Hey, Pure, what's up? Um, so she's got like concerts and it's the end of the school year stuff. So I'm going to be like doing stuff with her. Um, but I will check you guys all out later. You'll probably see me in other streams and, uh, have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Screenshot, screenshot. If somebody screenshots this and posts it to my Twitter, how fun would that be? All right, I gotta go. Goodbye.